Hi, welcome to OTP. I'm Mark, delighted you've chosen to join us for this video. Before we dive in, if you enjoy what you see here, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please take the time to explore our extensive collection of other videos and toolbox talks, all packed with valuable, informative, free training and advice. The Guide to Maintaining Roadworthiness has been rewritten recently and the part concerning brake testing has had a major overhaul. I'm going to outline the information that it now gives as a minimum standard and of course look at what's generally considered to be industry best practice. Now every safety inspection must assess the performance of the brakes and there are different ways to assess them. Not all of the options can be used on all vehicles so let's take a little look at the different methods. Firstly, a decelerometer. A decelerometer is an approved and calibrated device which is placed in the vehicle and it assesses the overall braking performance when the brakes are applied. As it can't distinguish if an individual brake is performing poorly, then a temperature check of each brake should be taken at the same time to identify where a problem is. A brake that measures the same as the temperature outside would indicate that it's not working. Whilst inconsistent readings compared to the brake on the opposite side of the same axle would indicate that one brake's working better than the other. Secondly, roller brake test. A calibrated roller brake test is considered to be the most effective method for measuring both individual and overall braking efficiencies. A roller brake test is carried out by placing each axle on a set of rollers which measures the efficiency of each brake on that axle. And lastly, an electronic braking performance monitoring system, an EBPMS, which can be used to monitor the braking performance of vehicles or trailers whilst in use and automatically relays information concerning braking efficiency to the operator. The system also provides a comprehensive brake performance report which is suitable for a safety inspection. So, what can be used and when? So, as far as safety inspections are concerned, a rigid vehicle without a trailer can use a decelerometer, as, vehicle, as can vehicles that can't be tested on a roller brake tester. So this means that the guide to maintaining roadworthiness is inferring that they expect an articulated combination, which is not a rigid vehicle, to have a roller brake test at every inspection. Now, as I said, considered the most efficient method Presenting the vehicle in a laden condition for a roller brake test makes the test even more meaningful than if it was unladen. Now don't forget from April 2025 all brake tests will have to be either laden roller brake tests or data from an electronic brake performance monitoring system. So DVSA strongly recommends that all roller brake tests should be with a loaded vehicle or trailer unless a risk assessment has been taken where the operator can justify that some of the tests can be unladen. In that case, at least four of the tests within a year should still be loaded. Now earlier I mentioned best practice. You know what's coming back yeah. Best practice within the industry is to conduct a laden roller brake test at every safety inspection, irrespective of what the vehicle is. For the most meaningful results, a laden roller brake test is conducted with the vehicle or trailer loaded to a minimum of 65% of its total maximum weight whilst being tested. The guide to maintaining roadworthiness outlines the minimum expectations, but what price do you put on safety? Head over to our website, the address is in the comments below. Check out our online refresher course. It's an ideal way to make sure that you're up to date with the latest changes to legislation and best practices, just like this one. The online refresher can be done at a time to suit you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so we can keep you updated on new videos, masterclasses and free training videos, including toolbox talks. They're all designed to provide you with a more engaging, informative and useful content. See you soon.